Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning again. The assembly, which consists of band rod A, B, C, D, E, rigidly attached to sharp OQ. At the instant shown, it is rotating about the x-axis at the constant rate omega 5 radian per second. At the same instant, color P slides downward along section CD of the rod at the rate P 172 centimeter per second, which is decreasing at 430 centimeter per second square relative to the assembly and CP equals to 21.5 cm. At this instant, write the expression for the angular velocity omega. To know the direction of this omega, you fold your four fingers following the arrows. Your thumb will indicate the direction. So in this case, the direction will be positive i. So the expression of omega will be positive 5i radian per second. And 5 is the magnitude as indicated in the problem. B. The expression for the position of color P relative to point A or RP stroke A and the position of color P relative to point O, RP. So when we have a point A, we want to ask the position relative to that point, we write RP stroke A. But if that point is point O, we don't put O, the origin. So we just put RP. Let's start with RPA. Point P is here. And then we want to go from point A to point P. We can say that AP equal to OP minus OA. AP is OP minus OA. Another way to express AP. To go to P from A, I need to go up to B by 28 in the Z direction. And then we go to the positive Y j direction by 18 and then i need to go to the cd direction by 21.5 ab we know bc we know cp we don't know so we need to determine cp so either you use this one or this one it will give the same ap so i choose this one ab we know bc we know CP. CP is the magnitude of CP, which is 21.5, times the direction. The direction in this case is in the direction of CD. CD. Why I didn't choose CP? Because I don't know point P. So I choose CD. Why I choose CD? Because I know point C, I know point D, the coordinate. So CP is CP times the unit vector in the CD direction. CP is the magnitude, the unit vector is CD vector over magnitude CD. CD is OD minus OC. So OD you have 30 plus 5 in the I direction and then going up in the K direction by 3. OC to go from O to C, you need to go by 5 in the I direction, by 28 in the K direction, and then positive 18 in the J direction. So knowing OC and OD, you can obtain CD, which is OD minus OC. Having CD, you can calculate the magnitude, square root of square of the each component. So 43 centimeters, so we can calculate unit vector in the CD direction. You obtain this one. So having UCD, we can determine vector CP, which is 21.5 times this unit vector. So we obtain 15I minus 9J minus 12.5K centimeter. So now we return back to the question. The question is what is vector AP or RP relative to A? AB plus BC plus CP 
you replace everything with the Cartesian expression. So you have 15i plus 9j plus 15.5k centimeter. Let's see now the position of P relative to O. OP is OA times AP. So 5i plus the previous AP. You have 20i plus 9j plus 15.5k centimeter. Now let's see question C. The expression of velocity of the color P relative to the assembly. P vector or BP relative to rod. Since the question is about P relative to the assembly, it means you need to put yourself with the assembly. Don't put yourself outside of the assembly. The assembly is all the system. If you put outside from the assembly, you are going to see this assembly is rotating. But if you sit inside, you are not going to see this rotating. Okay? Just like if you sit in a car, you see your friend beside you sitting in the car. He's not moving. He's still there. Just 30 centimeters from you, for example. So don't put yourself out when you are inside. So here you need to put yourself inside within the system, rotates with the system. So according to you, when you are in the system, point P is sliding only, no rotating. We have the speed 172 centimeter per second. We just need to obtain the direction. The direction of this P is the same with the previous CP. It means you CD. Vector P or the velocity of P relative to rod is the magnitude P times the unit vector in that direction, which is UCD. Question D now. This is the vector product. Omega P cross product the vector AP. Omega is the angular velocity times the radius give tangential velocity. Omega P we have 5i red S. RPA, the vector of P relative to A we have. Now we need to do the cross product. We have 5i times this vector uh, RP relative to A. So you just distribute this one 5i to each of these components so 5i cross product 15i 5i cross product 9j 5i cross product 15.5k you just have the cross product between unit vector in the cartesian or rectangular coordinate i cross product i will be zero i cross product j will be k I cross product K will be negative J. You multiply 5 times 9, it means 45 in the K direction. 5 times 15.5 will be 77.5 in the negative direction. Omega P times RP. You just repeat the same process. You have the answer. 